<sighs> they say loneliness is the real killer. Welcome to Deep Thoughts While Gaming. I'm Chris Chappell. On the surface, you could be forgiven for thinking I'm a man who had everything. Riches, fine horses, slaves. Nevertheless, an existential ennui settled upon me. I was alone in an infinite procedurally generated world. Not even the water could show my reflection. What is the sound of one hand clapping? Surely not as nice as a round of applause, recognizing my greatness. But with whom could I share my works? Civilization exists because of the need for recognition. A friendly pat on the back. A simple, good job. A pleasant, please, let me bear your children. With no one to impress, we'd all be sitting around naked in the mud eating raw meat. Minecraft is a game about life. In its quintessence, a journey. One that lets us examine all the fundamentals of living. The need for food, shelter, and most of all, companionship. Naturally, man's best friends seem to be the ticket. But while there was loyalty, there was no spark of intellect. The finest works of art meant less than a measly bone. Perhaps this Enderman could be an Ender friend? No, no, most definitely not. Driven to the brink of madness by my loneliness, I turned to diabolical arts and alchemy. Fools tread gladly where angels fear to tread. And yet the results of my plucking a soul from the abyss was nothing more than a mindless homunculi, an automaton incapable of feeling love. But on the brink of despair, God sent me a ray of light. Her name was Marguerite. I met her when I was uh, borrowing supplies from her village. Her eyes shone like fire. She moved like the tempest, ravaging my heart the way a tornado tears through the land. I, who had fought many fell beasts, but not the wither, he's too hard, stood petrified by fear. This was everything I had been yearning for, and yet when it was within my grasp, I hesitated. Oh, cruel cowardice in the face of love. That's when I met Antoni, the town nitwit, mocked and chided by the community for being a fool, unable to hold down a profession. But I saw in him the spark of a philosopher, a Diogenes, one who bucked convention and social norms, a kindred spirit. He became my ally and confidant. Together, we would plot the conquest of the heart of Marguerite. One must take Tiger Mountain by strategy. When I suggested a gift of a flower, and Tony scoffed, a single flower? The gift of industry is what truly sets the heart ablaze. However, her affections seemed unmoved. Diamonds, then. Not just one. I scoured the depths to bring the treasures of the earth to her feet. And yet, not the slightest sign of affection. Idolatry, then. So all may worship the beauty of Marguerite. A breeze would have stirred her more. As my frustration mounted, I happened upon some village gossip. Apparently, in my absence, Marguerite had taken a lover. Now, you, dear listener, may think I'd take that news poorly. That I may freak out, do something drastic. Far from it. For I realize that love is fickle and the heart of a woman is as mercurial as the stars. But the true companionship and camaraderie I had been looking for was already mine to enjoy. Yet I had been too much of a love-blind fool to see it. And Tony, yes, dear Antoni, who had been there for me while I toiled after that miserable shrew. 
The bonds of brotherhood fashion together the souls of men far more tightly than any damsel's swaying hips. I dashed to Antoni to share my revelation. And that's when I found them together. As I watched the village burn late into the night, I began to think about the nature of what I had done. Perhaps my time alone in the wilderness had transformed me into just another one of the many monsters that stalked this world. A tool that had nurtured me with life-giving fire I used to bring about destruction to the village. Truly, in each of us lurks both the destructive power of Shiva the Destroyer and Brahma the Creator. Our dualistic nature struggling for balance in a harsh, unforgiving landscape. Now, the only companion left to me is the night. And my ender friend. How like me. The spark of intelligence. A builder. But instead of offering companionship in this lonely world, they return only violence. Perhaps they truly are my own shadow. A reflection of the darkness that lurks in the heart of all men. Thank you for watching Deep Thoughts While Gaming. And remember, all's fair in love and war crimes.